Hey there everyone, Lena here and welcome to Sherlock Holmes and the Hound of the Baskervilles. Uh, this is, as far as I've been able to tell, a hidden object game. I haven't really played much of those, so I figured why not start with something that really, really interests me. And since I am a huge Sherlock Holmes fangirl, uh, and I love the original stories, as well as pretty much any incarnation, uh, and I realized that I haven't actually played a Sherlock Holmes game. Or, well, I have, but only on the 3DS. Uh, but I haven't played one on my PC yet. So, I figured I'd start with this one. It's one of my favorite stories as well. So, let's try this out. Uh, type your name. Luna. Okay. Ooh. Options. Uh, voice volume. Yeah, sure. Let's try this. Play. Please choose your difficulty. Okay, I haven't really played this kind of game before, so I'm actually gonna go with easy. Just to try. I might s switch later okay so this is the backstory I really like the art 165 years later this is actually really cool hello to one that we have a visitor Holmes indeed come in Hello, Sir Henry Baskerville. Did you have a good trip? <laughs> well, how do you know who I am? I had not announced my visit. By looking at your dress, it is totally unsuited to our wet English weather. This allowed me to deduce that you came here in a hurry and carrying the bare minimum in your luggage. Then there is a blue <laughs> ink stain on your thumb. The same blue ink used by the passenger service at Waterloo Station to print their tickets. Your ticket has stained your thumb because of the rain. Also, my attention was attracted to your cufflinks with the initials HB, but still I had not yet made the connection with the famous Baskerville family. It is by remembering a Times article that I deduced your identity. It was telling of the odd death of Charles Baskerville and the likely return of his nephew and only heir, Henry. Brilliant. Your reputation is well-deserved, Mr. Holmes. But let me explain the purpose of my visit. I am... You do not believe in legends, and you would like to clear the circumstances of your uncle's death. You need a factual, logical, and rational explanation of what some call the Curse of the Baskervilles. And who else, in all modesty, but Sherlock Holmes and his faithful friend Dr. Watson would be able to solve such a mystery? Watson, my friend, pack your bags. We're leaving for Baskerville Hall. Tell us about the curse of the Baskervilles, Henry. Its origin dates back to my ancestor, Hugo Baskerville. It is said he was a vile person who earned the wrath of the devil. After his death, all our ancestors seemed to come to bad ends at Baskerville Hall. At the scene of each death, there were always dog or wolf tracks, but gigantic. Thus, over the centuries, a legend was built, that of a creature from hell, the Hound of the Baskervilles. My uncle was sure that it was a reality. He was convinced that the beast would take him sooner or later, as it took all those our lineage. With his last letter, he sent me this medallion. According to Charles, it was needed to break the curse of the Baskervilles, but he did not know how to use it. Do you believe in this legend, Mr. Holmes? We'll have to exhaust all other hypotheses before falling back on that one. Baskerville Hall in sight. Holmes, Doctor, welcome to Baskerville Hall. The servants are not here to welcome us, I fear. They were severely affected by the death of my uncle and have since retired. Okay, so they've taken some liberties with the story. Um, 
That's pretty obvious, but... Yeah, it's interesting, and they... They've taken an interesting turn with it, so far. The Where? family portraits gallery, I assume. But why such expressions on their faces? These pictures have not always been so disturbing. According to my uncle, the changes in the paintings occurred after the violent death of the portrayed Baskerville. It appears to be one of the effects of the curse. <laughs> okay. The curse expanded, suddenly. Have you noticed? The family coats of arms under the pictures are missing. Indeed, it is an interesting point to begin our investigation. Where can these coats of arms be, and why did they disappear? Let's try to find them. I cannot stay here any longer. The sight of those ghastly faces is unbearable. Welcome to Baskerville Hall, the interactive tutorial through the game. No, I think I can manage... So, what hall? So, Roger's door, lock keys. Roger's room. Oh. Charles Baskerville. That's creepy. Elizabeth Baskerville. Edward Lily James What was her name? Louisa and Roger Okay, Louisa's door Okay, I need to remove this board. Second floor Hall Hugo Baskerville so that's the evil bastard. Okay. Oh. Did I need that? For something? Kitchen. Which is locked. Winter garden. Lily's room. James's room. Uh, okay. But why is protected its access with this mechanism? Oh. Dark place. <laughs> okay. There's a piece of a coat of arms. Oh. I'm picking up stuff and I'm picking up pieces of coats of arms. Is there any other here? I don't see any. Did I miss one? Uh, doesn't look like it. Not that I can see. But anyway, I need to put this there. Always found. Great. Oh. Okay. So where does it start? So those are connected. That's connected. That's not connected. Oh. Well then. 
Let's see. That one there. Uh, oh no, the blue has to be in the bottom. So this one there. And this one there. 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 That's not it. Really? Then how is it supposed to be connected? Oh! There we go! We solved it! Sir Roger Baskerville is certainly one of the most famous hunters in all of Great Britain. Okay. Indeed, Dr. Watson, my grandfather spent a large part of his life traveling the colonies of the Empire to stalk the largest predators in the world. Let us try to learn more about the tragic death of Sir Roger Baskerville. Such a distinguished hunter could not possibly have been killed by a simple dog. True? Whoa! What was that? Crystal Eye. Whiskey. Well, that's just a mess. A wolf's head. Missing two eyes. Oh. Crossbow piece. Knife. Paper. Tiger head. Tiger missing his fangs. That is weird. Book of the Baskervilles. Curtain ribbon. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah, open the curtains. So do that. Oh, there we go. Hello, go away. Um, okay, so we've got. Why is there a handprint, bloody handprint, on the window? Do I need to find them in... in order? Um... There's a chain. Okay, so I don't need to find them in order. Skull. Quiver. Oh. Um, Wolf kissing. A pipe. Here we go. A hook. A bow. Foxtail, bone, a dog. That one? Apparently. 
Uh, horseshoe lantern plant. Horseshoe. I still want to know where there's a bloody fingerprint there. Lantern. Oh, there you are. I found an oiler. Okay. What do I need that for? Oh. It's lever behind. It's too rusted. Oh. Neat. Why on earth can seal a lever inside a fireplace? You first have to extinguish the fire. Oh. I've got water. I just get, I'm just gonna look around here a bit first. You're blinking. That's a bit unsettling. I'm just picking up everything. They're all blinking. Come on. There we go. Yes. Let's go. A unicorn, a dragon, a werewolf? I can't believe my eyes. Don't let appearances fool you, Henry. Dr. Watson is right. It is unlikely that these fantastic animals ever existed. It is, rather, a matter of a remarkable job of taxidermy. Dragon's head. Ah, uh, day was gone. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Plus, get crystal eyes kept in his hand, but I can't move his fingers. Okay. You could have hung around his neck. What if we use one of Roger's crossbows to unhook him? Um. Got you. It's a harpy. It's too dirty to read. Can I clean it? Oh, okay. Can I use this? It's not the right item. Can I pry this open? No? This? Okay. Do you do anything? Ivy. I see a fresco on the wall, but it's covered with ivy and, and nearly impossible to discern. Can I use... Oh, I can't... Oh, hello! Uh... Oh. I want to make the horse. Can I? Can I not? No? Okay. Do I need to make the person? That's boring. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, that was actually correct in the beginning. Hmm, that one's right, that one's not. Come on, here we go. Is this actually the right one? Yeah, probably. Here we go! You have bat wings. What did I get for that? Nothing? Oh, padlock key. Can I use it? Here we go. I want to pry that thing open. Okay, fine. So, I need a crossbow. I need to 
wet this. And I need to assemble a crossbow. I'm not sure why, but that's a bit disturbing. Uh, okay. There we go, and that was the use for that one. Strange symbol, we should take a print of it. Yes. Let's do that. And what do I need to use on it? Not that. So I need a crossbow and I need something to pry his fingers open. Uh, who is missing a horn? No one? No? Okay. Uh, incomplete second floor lock. Okay, what am I missing? Okay. Can we remove it with this? No. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. It's locked. Some kind of saw. That's too dark. It's locked. This is locked with something. Okay. So I suppose the things I need are supposed to be in here. But where? Oh? Yeah, I know it's missing two eyes. And it's still missing one. So... I highly doubt that did anything. Since I only have one eye. Yeah, I know you can't move his fingers. Can't move it with what I've got here. Uh, is there anything else I can... Huh? Oh, that's where the horn goes. Thank you. Yes. There we go. The strange sensation. Something has just changed. What happened? Oh! Where are we? I believe the correct question is rather, when are we? What do you mean, Holmes? Look at these traces of struggle. Look at the shape of the room, its decoration. Everything appears as if Sir Roger was just killed. Smell the air. The odors of gunpowder and blood are still fresh. You don't really think that we went back in time, do you? Normally, I would reply no and laugh at your naivety. But for now, I'd rather not say anything. I do not know how or why, but it seems that we have stepped back to a few minutes after the death of Sir Roger. There is always an explanation. Be patient. Yes. Look at this copy of the Times. It's almost 90 years old. Either it is perfectly kept, or we are really at the beginning of the century. Oh... There we go. 
Can I... Second floor key? Can I... Can... Now we need an arrow. Oh, okay. So where do we find an arrow? Steam piece. She found them to help us understand the curse. Okay. Let's do that. You look like you've been crying blood. Something is very strong and requires great strength. Okay. Let's see. There's a shoe and an axe. And a pipe if anyone's feeling like a smoke. Anyone? What do I do here? Oh. I'm stupid. I was too focused on the image. I didn't even see it. the um the the words and I losing my arrow. Ring. Metal. That's not it. Flask. There you are. Uh. You are... A slingshot. A hat. Pocket watch. A knife. Uh, where? No. Are you the trophy? No, you're not. A cane. A knife. There you are. A wolf. A wolf footprint. Uh, so it's a trophy and corkscrew and a bird skull. Yeah, that's not the bird skull. I didn't think so. Um, uh, let's see. Oh. I'm blind. So, trophy... You are not the trophy. Could have been. And a corkscrew. Okay. Am I just blind? There is the corkscrew. And the trophy. Yeah, I'm just being blind. I found an arrow. Go! Get the crossbow. Is there anything else to find here? Old boss. Can I. Hello. Can I u collect anything else in here? It does say I should be able to break the vase if I had something heavy enough. I'll return here for now. And I use that on you. To get that. We have all the pieces of the coat of arms of Sir Roger Baskerville. Let's go to his portrait. Uh, no, not yet. I want to see if I missed anything first. Oh, probably not. So, 
Let's just go. Oh. There we go. Are you gonna look happier now? The painting seems to be regaining its original colors, as if the curse was lifted. Holmes, Watson, look! By inserting the arms, we've triggered a mechanism. A secret cache. There's something inside. The diameter of this jewel seems to perfectly match the empty slot on the medallion. Oh, I, so, I see. Has given us an important element for our investigation. Look, there's a note in the back of the jewel. Physical power and brute force. Amazing. The medallion seems to react to the presence of the jewel. It vibrates. Let us try to use it. Perhaps on the boards that block the door to Louisa's room. Okay. This jewel gives incredible strength to whoever uses it. It allows one to break the most resistant items or to lift heavy loads. Okay. So we finished the first coat of arms. This is interesting. I've, like I said, I've never really played hidden object games before, so... This is really interesting. And it's a story I know well, so I can sit and mutter at the things they've changed. <laughs> but, anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna return to this again, of course. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here. So, thank you guys so much for coming along, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you guys soon. Bye!